let's get into it, man. So, uh, Jordan, if you don't mind sharing my screen, uh, my CEO founder of PHP Agency, who I directly report to at PHP Agency, made an offer to Tucker Carlson, as many of you may or may not know. He got fired from Fox News yesterday, basically the number one player for Fox News, got fired a couple weeks ago by Fox News. In response to this, our CEO, Patrick David, host of Valuetainment, my personal mentor for the last eight years, offered him $100 million. $100 million over a five-year period, uh, a president of Valuetainment position, board seat of Valuetainment, and willing to invest, even when I saw Megyn Kelly's show yesterday, willing to invest money into his, doc his documentaries and production costs so Tucker Carlson's voice research can be heard across the world. Because many of you may not know, Patrick but David is a flag carrier and a voice for entrepreneurship, for capitalism, for America. So, by the way, Milton, I, I just got done through surgery yesterday, and I was recovering. I was on Valium. Yeah. I was recovering uh, from, from, by the way, it's my second week of eye surgery. Finally done, now in full recovery period. But you sent me that text. Yeah. What were your thoughts when you sent it to me? What a way to capitalize on a, on a great opportunity, man. What a way to capitalize. I know there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of other companies who are reaching out, but Patrick's actually the first one who actually made it public. 20 million, 20 million a year and more. And he even, he even said, we're, we're all ears. What more do you want? What more can we do to give you this platform so that way you can have a voice? And I think, um, I mean, I, I'm, I never really got heavily into Fox News. I always thought Fox mm -hmm. News was that channel that you just should completely avoid. But Tucker Carlson always uh, caught my attention. And for that man to be in the position that he's in right now, I feel like he has the world in the palm of his hands with this opportunity. I mean, this is the reason why we start a business. Yeah. This is the reason why we take financial literacy and financial education seriously. Because uh, some of you all may not know Patrick, but Dave, I've known him for the last eight years. Every day we've had a conversation. Every week we've had mentorship calls. I've got him exposed to my guys. I've got him exposed to the people I'm coaching and mentoring. Uh, one of our guys that, that get exposed uh, through the company, through uh, Diana Joe, is a co-founder of the company, through Andrew Gaines. By the way, shout out to Andrew Gaines, a former college pastor. He, his exposure and access to Patrick by David with inside our uh, insurance organization. Now he's crossed over $750,000 of cash flow. We recognized John Mason last week for crossing over a million dollars of cash flow because of the direct mentorship and guidance through Patrick by David. He's made a direct impact on my life in multiple areas of my life, not just finance. It's personal development, it's leadership development, faith, uh, a, a, a mentorship in, in leading people. So it's so weird to know that you have a mentor that can mentor you in multiple categories. And uh, even though he sold uh, PHP last year to Integrity Marketing Group last June, mm. um, he's taken that by was It was multiple, multiple, multiple eight figures. And to see him reinvest hundred million of that into attracting talent that just shows you how much our CEO is not wired by money or title or plateau or, or power. It's about purpose. And so if you're out there, you say, oh, I want, I want to make an impact. My encouragement to you is to think bigger. You know, oftentimes, uh, Milton, we get people saying, you know what? I'm, I'm missing out on the weekends, man. I'm missing out on my kids, this, my family, this, and missing out on, on certain things I used to do. But you know, now that I've stepped out into entrepreneurship, I'm finding myself. I've got it's like I've got to sacrifice my family. I got to sacrifice these things on evenings and weekends that I normally did. And our question to them is: Listen, were you happy where you were financially speaking last year, the year before, the year before that? Why are you allowing your friends and family to cause you to think so small, to to cause you to get back down to where you were thinking, and instead of investing yourself to think a little bit bigger, because temporary sacrifice. And doing the right things and executing on the right things can lead to permanent happiness. Where imagine now, instead of you worrying, oh, you know, I'm missing out some soccer games, I'm missing out mm -hmm. some baseball games, football games. What about you now having your kid being taught by a professional athlete the actual skills? I mean, who's better to teach your kids the professional development of the game? Your high school coach, you? Or about hiring a professional football player to teach your kids? How about hiring a professional basketball player to yeah. teach your kids? How about a hockey player, baseball player? 500 bucks an hour to teach your kids and, and how to do that. What would it mean for you if you didn't have to fold the clothes and change your oil and mow the lawn or, or, or clean the house instead of investing that same time with your family, doing big things and talking about what your values and principles are of your family because you're not doing the day-to-day -day operations, you're investing and creating jobs. So think bigger.
And so, Milton, you're, you thought you thought bigger than a lot of people that you grew up with. And now that you're being recruited around the world, you're constantly on a plane to help people with their first, uh, personal fitness. Well, I mean, what has that journey? I mean, this is why Patrick makes $100 million off. People think he made his money through oil. So many rumors about Patrick with David and how he made his money. No, he made his money because he thought bigger than everybody else, and he didn't stop. He wasn't bought. It wasn't about a milestone. It wasn't about cash flow, cash out. It was about vision. It was about purpose, and the vision's real. How about yourself? Your thoughts on, on, on you stepping out and doing something big? Well, I will say... It might be my, it might be my heritage, it might be my in my blood, but I actually like cutting my own lawn. <laughs> I, actually like, I, I, I actually like doing if that. If it's therapeutic, you, you know what? Yeah. I, for, but you know, in 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 the, in the perspective that, that you're speaking on, 100, percent I completely agree. Um, if, if you're able to outsource and reinvest back into your business, that way you can create time when it comes into the long haul. Because one of the things that I was consistently on, man, I was working by the hour, by the hour, by the hour, by the hour, and all the money that I would get, I would utilize that money just for an experience on the weekend or to take my girlfriend out or to do something that was just going to give me temporary pleasure. Yeah. And I always noticed that at the end of the day, at the end of the week, at the end of the month, I was consistently broke all the freaking time until I started reinvesting in, back into myself, back into my business. I started seeing the fruit of that. Yeah. And then that's when my business started taking off where, again, as you said, you know, nationwide, people are flying me out to work with their gyms, with their trainers, help them scale their business and yeah. so on and so forth. But whenever I go back home to Chicago, I, you know, Go to my family's home and whip out that lawnmower. Yeah, my Mexican music on my, on my headphones. <laughs> and, yeah. It's a good time. <laughs> for, for those of you that want change, you want change in your yeah. life, you want change in your school system, you want change in your community, make some daggone money. Because now you can reinvest that and swing things around because money can help you. Mm -hmm. As much as many people think that money will hurt you, the opposite is true. Money can greatly and significantly help you if your character, your spirit is from a good place. Yes, money will expose the best and also the worst in people. And that's why prayer and hope is that you have your vertical relationship right, that you have, that's why it's called faith made millionaire, that we don't have what we have today without faith. It's not about, it's not about fake it till you made it, it's faith it till you make it, not fake it till you make it, faith it until you make it. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.